City Lights on Novus TV, I'm Natalie Langston. An artistic showdown is about to go down here at the Heritage Hall on Main Street with what promises to be an adrenaline-filled, colorful splatter of fun in an 80-minute live painting competition. The Battle of the Brush is a night of beautiful art, a chance for guests to mingle with artists, and guests vote on their favorite painting. Eight artists, four teams, and only one winner takes home the golden brush. Battle of the Brush. Battle of the Brush is a 80 minute live painting competition. We usually have four teams of artists compete uh, per show. Uh, each team consists of two artists and they paint to a given theme. Uh, the theme for tonight is cartoons and anime. Our previous themes uh, more abstract like or more conservative so I thought we would just bring a bit of youth to it. In terms of this theme now, do guests need to take that into account when they're judging the paintings? Oh yeah. That is the main criteria for voting. After the 80 minutes, everyone who comes, they have a voting card and we suggest that they vote for the team whose painting reflects the theme of the show. Now is there anything else that uh, guests tonight need to keep in mind while voting for their favorite painting? One big thing is uh, collaboration. This whole show was built off of that theme. So sometimes when a team paints, you can see the friction in the painting and the painting is split in, into two. We want a painting that looks like it was painted by one artist. We prepare the artists about a month in advance so they know what the theme is. Uh, when we first started the show, we didn't do that and the paintings, well, you could see the friction. <laughs> but now things are a little bit more happy. Maybe just get to know their partner a little bit more, uh, talk more about the painting, prepare more so that there's a mutual understanding and, and practice, practice a lot. Are all the proceeds tonight uh, going to charity? Uh, no, it, it's going to the artist and also to cover the cost. We feel that the majority of the shares should go to the artist. As you know, it, it may be difficult to sell art and, and such, so our show helps promote the artist, their works to the general public. Are you a painter yourself? You're a young guy. Is that also kind of drives your love of all of this? I did paint when I was in high school and then I branched off into um, more architectural studies. Since then I've done a few painting classes here and there but uh, I so won't we won't be it. seeing you out there then. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think people would vote for me. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> the winning team from season four, episode four is Tell us about this winning painting, guys. Gary first told me about the event, and when he said it was cartoons, we just totally exploded with like ideas. I just never stopped watching cartoons. Gary's probably the same way. And they're just so much fun and like so much creativity like with them. So it started off with like some of our favorites like Adventure Time and Invader Zim and just the classics like Bugs Bunny and Tweety. You know, 80 minutes isn't really a long time. We wanted to do more even, so we kind of had to you know, paraphrase, so to speak. But yeah, it turned out better than we thought it would. Now, what was the story behind this painting today? It's just kind of a culmination of all of our favorite cartoon characters. The main thing is Invader Zim. He tries to collect all of these cartoon characters so he can experiment on them. It has something to do with him taking over the Earth. And he's down to the last few, and then Finn the Human is coming in to stop him. Yeah, it's fun. Does it make it easier to create when you have a storyline? For me, I everything I do is story driven. I need a story. Even if it's just going on in my head, I need that story because it helps me work on the painting, add details. Now you guys must have gotten close throughout this process. Um, what kind of went into uh, the winning team that you guys put together? We have very different styles and it was, it was kind of difficult at first to like, work together on it, but we almost kind of drew a line down the center and said, this is your side. That's yours. We can blend every once in a while, but that's it. Did you stay on your side? Um, no, not entirely. I work kind of more loosely than Gary, for sure. And um, I think the different styles totally were, was one of probably the biggest challenges for his working and trying to get it to, to like weld together. But I think that was one of the funnest parts of it, too. How does it feel to take home the golden brush? Yeah, it feels good. I don't have any complaints. How about you? Are you going to do anything to celebrate? Oh, yeah, I'm probably going to go run around and get crazy. Um, other than that, probably just go do some more painting and stuff. 
For more details on the Golden Brush Art Live painting competitions, just go to the website below. Thanks for watching. For City Lights on Novus TV, I'm Natalie Langston.